human has eight sufferings. So just to remind everyone, the question is when the uh, patients, uh, maybe it's a family member who is a patient and fallen sick because of the sufferings uh, endured by the body, pain endured by the body, they can't concentrate on the name of Amitofo. Only when their condition gets better will they start to chant Amitofo willingly. So how do we uh, solve this problem? How do we, you know, what should we do when this happens? So Venerable answered, human has eight sufferings. One of them is illness. Towards, I mean, to um, helping a patient means we need to be sympathetic first. We need to uh, put ourselves in their shoes if, as much as we can. Uh, because people who really suffer from illness or any kind of illness really wants people to understand them, care for them. Uh, you know, heart to heart. That's the first kind of uh, first attitude we should have. And if you are the family member of the patient, we should do our best to relieve the sufferings. You know, in many in in three ways. One is physical. Physical ways of relieve their suffering is mean is using the medical means to relieve their pain. In Chinese medicine, uh, it means using acupuncture, acupressure uh, to reduce. Uh, the pain uh, endured by the body. Um, and uh, Dr. Joe has taught many ways. Uh, last time, I think we all have the uh, lecture uh, by Dr. Joe talking about the acupoint, acupressure, where you put the pressure in the nerves, note, so that to, you can relieve the pain. You can identify where it goes wrong in your body and how uh, we should uh, reduce the pain by applying the uh, acupressure at the right place. So, um, food-wise, we need to be more careful to avoid consuming something that hurt the family member. Uh, say, the person who are sick, they can't eat salty, they can't eat oily, we avoid that kind of food. So, those are all physical things that we could do for our friends or families who are sick. Mentally, we can console them with kind words and gestures so that they felt listened to and hence open up for advice. For, from you um, we need to be patient though when we're advising them because you will have to repeat a lot of times uh, more often than not Remem remember the first advice we need to be sympathetic people who are in pain they really um, is in that situation where they can't concentrate hence they can't listen to us uh, uh, easily so we need to be patient repeat the point instructions to, uh, so that they can, you know, get the point and start working on it, you know, to relieve their pain, sufferings. Uh, because people who went in pain, they couldn't control themselves, right? Uh, they lost that faculty sometimes. So we need to be very patient. And also, there are past life factors. If we push forward the time or the time into the past, uh, there is always past karma that we bought and came into fruition in this life. Uh, and f illness is one of the form. So illness is also a result of past karma. For example, Venerable Xuan Zhang, Xuan Zhuang. So Venerable Xuan Zhuang is from Tang Dynasty. He's the one who went to India to, atrieve, to, uh, to retrieve the sutra, all right, from the Nalanda universities and everywhere else. Um, and is very famous to the West uh, in the form of the journey to the East. Uh, but this is a real life journey to the East. Uh, he is well-known top contributor towards the propagation of Buddhism, especially Mahayana Buddhism in China. So his merit must be enormous. You know, he should be very good, having a very good ending. But however, when he, you know, fallen sick in his old age, he suffers immense pain. I think it's headache or something. Uh, immense pain when he, um, you know, reached old age. And so painful that he, um, you know, doubted like that. No, he doubted. He thought he did something wrong in his translation. He might um, make a mistake, uh, misinterpret Buddha's sutra into Chinese, from Sanskrit to Chinese. But Bodhisattva, came into his dream and affirmed him, you did no wrong in your present life. You did good. 
However, there is an element of past you have to uh, factor into. You have been a king in one of your lives in the past. And in that life as a king, you hurt, killed, maimed many people. So this headache is a result of you hurting people, killing people in your past life as a king. And understanding how it came to be, you know, because of the past deeds I have committed helps to relieve the, the sufferings, uh, helps to understand why am I going through this. It gives a sense of, to be honest, sur uh, true surrendering, acceptance. I should be going through this. And that actually helps a lot in dealing with the ordeal of sickness, especially terminal sickness. Um, so attitude is very important when we are dealing with illness, sickness. So patients, right, mentally, we need to affirm them. Cause and effect is indeed real, is in effect, hence you are suffering this. And because of the past deeds, maybe you're supposed to have even worse situation happening to you, but because of the merit you have done so far to you know, towards Buddhism, towards propagating, helping people, you only suffer less than you deserved according to the past. That means you, you, you had it easy. And then that will help the person, of course, word it properly, and, and it will help the person to able to deal with the pain easily or more willing, more open to take it. So, so worst thing is when they're in pain, they give up chanting Nian for Amitofo because they doubt, they doubt the word of Buddha. And this is where we need to repeat and need to come in and say, karma in the past is in effect. We need to remind them, you are just going through this. Once you go through this, your life will be better or you will be able to go to Pure Land. So we need to be there to help them repetitively, patiently, so that they do not lose faith in the teaching of Buddha, so that they can relieve the sufferings thoroughly last one spiritually we can encourage or organize vegetarian feast at the event of relatives visiting the patient say because of this patient suffering you can have vegetarian event banquet or uh, some sort of everyone sitting down and not eating meat for one day because of this person who is ill they start stop eating meat hence reducing killing uh, karma and, and so it gives merit to the patient, hence relieve their burden, their karmic burden they carry with them, hence relieve their pain and sufferings eventually. So rescuing animal at the verge of being butchered is very good way to elevate their pain, their, their condition. Uh, encourage vegetarian is one thing and also function, which is rescuing them from being butchered in their behalf. Because of this illness, you go and do this merits, and hence the patient will receive the benefits of your action as well. So this is another way to relieve their past karma. So there's a way to get uh, them, uh, you know, to, to help them. Uh, so, and then you encourage these beings to go to pure land as well, you know, Nian for Amitofo. Uh, not just release them, but also tell them to near Amitofo. So you chant Amitofo to them, or do the tr triple gem refuge. So Venerable has emphasized, face the world with a positive attitude. What is a positive mindset, positive attitude? The right mindset, right attitude. First thing is, if we have fortune because of our past karma or what we did, in and we just spend it away, it's not necessarily a good thing. What is a good thing is person who has fortune, good fortune in terms of wealth and all that, and they use it and share it with other beings, with everyone, uh, so that everyone can enjoy the fruition of his labor, of her labor. That's putting a right attitude. That's being wise. Uh, negative things like illness, all right, does not necessarily be an ending, uh, a bad ending, if we have a right mindset if we have a positive mindset. Uh, because 
putting a right attitude towards it means that we're able to take it with ease and we hence we reduce the negative karma. So we're able to, um, like we talk about, our heart is not at peace. So how do we get at peace? Understand the karma, how it works. Now we're suffering towards it, we are being relieved. Um, for example, the Bodhisattva Dijang or Bodhisattva Siddhi Garpa, Dijang, uh, earth treasure, it means. So Bodhisattva Dijang uh, is a very good example. Something that is going wrong, very terrible, but ends up good ending. Mother of Bodhisattva, before he was Bodhisattva, he's called, he's a lady and he's a Brahmin lady. She was called a Brahmin lady. So the past life of Bodhisattva Dijang is a Brahmin lady, Bolo Menu. The mother of this Brahmin lady has committed heinous, heinous karma and caused her to reborn in hell after she passed away in human realms. She should be suffering a lot more. However, because of the um, love of this Brahmin lady to girl towards her mom, she found back then there was Buddha and he, she found a Buddha and asked, how do I help her? My mom, my mom is in hell. And the Buddha taught her to chant the name of the Buddha of her time. Right? Also chant the name of Buddha, Ninfo, but Buddha of her time. And she focused so intense because her, her, her love for her mother drives her to do that. I need to get my mother out of the hell. I don't care what happens. I just need to get it. And she concentrated intensely. One day, one night, she attained. So, I'm sorry, I was impressed. What? Okay, one day, one night, she, she attained Arahat ability. Like, like we all China metaphor, but she able to be so intense and concentrate, she able to attain the level of Arahat. Basically, no longer bound by six rims. So, the context is, she able to have the sense of deep meditative power that she can transverse, transverse the realm and she go to the hell realm and help her mom because of her merit of being a sage brings her mom to heaven. Uh, so this is supposed to end badly for the mom because she's suffering in hell for a long time becomes a good thing because of mom falling to hell the daughter really, really, really want to help her mom out of it and she also have a good condition of meeting Buddha and she earnestly chant the name of Buddha and become a sage herself and helping her mom out of the hell. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Time's up. I think the time is about to be. There's a question. Can we leave the house again? Uh, really, brother. Do you think? Uh, oh, oh, 蟑螂、昆虫啊 不喜欢来了
寝室里有很多蚂蚁啊，啊，这个这个浴室里面，那我们毕竟呢，这些众生呢、啊、都有灵性的，我我们很诚心啊，跟他沟通，是能起到作用的。好，我记得有一个比较真实的例子，啊，这个爸爸妈妈。说要去买杀虫剂了，要来杀这些昆虫。那他们家的孩子很很小，也很单纯，他不忍心伤害生命啊，他就把窗户打开啊，然后自己写的字，就是请这些生命啊，赶快出去啊，不然你你们会有危险。哎，因为孩子的心很单纯呢，啊，有感动。结果，这些昆虫就出去了，啊，这进一步是说沟通，啊，用诚心去沟通，啊，像印光大师，当时候他搬到一个新的地方，啊，里面也有一些昆虫啊，啊，那，呃，这些弟子们要去把它清出去啊，印主说不用啊。也不要不不要伤害到他们，啊，他们也是提醒我，我修行还不好，啊，假如我修行好了，他们自己就会搬家了，啊，后来过没有多久啊，这些蚂蚁啊都自己搬走了，啊，所以大师呢，他可能磁场很好，念佛很精进，啊，这个。这些昆虫啊，感应到了，也很尊重大师，呃，他们就自己搬出去了。好，所以以上仅供参考。Uh, I'll do it shortly. Uh, so this question、uh, I translated in words, and the cause of cockroach to congregate at home, we need to think about it like many ways. First thing is food. Right with food, the creepy crawlies and the things they all want to eat. So creepy crawlies and cockroach will usually congregate at places,、uh, kitchen floors or something that has dirt or something that has food crumbs and all that. So try to avoid、uh, leaving crumbs or leaving it uncleaned after you have your dinner cooked.、Uh, try to clean because、uh, venerable heard that a clean floor to do not、uh, will less likely to、uh, attract creepy crawlies and cockroach. Um, another thing is the communications we need to have because there is a case uh, that um, there's a family where they um, they um, long story short they、um, chant or trying to communicate with the animals.、Uh, one of the family members a kid and kids are pure at heart, so the kids was like, please move house、um, because we need to be here. Thank you, and they were being very nice and. Very、uh, sincere, and the、um, effect it 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 took effect.、Uh, the animals no longer exist,、uh, no longer appear in their house. They actually move away from their places. So that's also an element of communication. It has to be done with utmost sincerity.、Uh, has to be truly、uh, sincere and earnest. The last one is Master Ying Guang's case.、Uh, he has.、Uh, Master Ying Guang is a patriarch of Pure Land Buddhism back in the early nationalist China era. So back to the point, Master Ying Guang、uh, one day moved to a new place to stay. However, in this new house, new vihara, new house,、uh, there's a lot of, you know, insects in a lot of cockroach insects, etc. And all the、um, lay Buddhists trying to, you know, the Dharma protector trying to、um, remove, trying to. You know, remove these、uh, creepy crawlies, these insects. But Master Ying Guang said, "Please don't do that. Don't harm them.、Uh, they are here to remind that my cultivation skill has not achieved a certain level. Hence, I need to, you know, they remind me to be to get good, to improve my cultivation skill. So, after a few months of、uh, a certain amount of time." The animals, the, the insects, no longer be seen around the house of Master Ying Guang. And Venerable Chunder says that because of the aura of Master Ying Guang, the 市场 the aura is very、uh, good.、Um, 
you know, every insect very respectful of these bodies um, of Master Ying Guang. Hence, they move away by uh, because you don't want to disturb someone you respect. So yeah, but these are all just uh, to be taken as a reference, all right? Not as a ultimate instruction. So take it with a grain of salt. Yeah, I'm Ito for. Oh, uh, the time is up. <laughs> Uh, Shirley 这个课是每个礼拜一次还是一个月一次？因为已经有人问我这个问题了，师傅。呃，Uncle <笑> uh, James asking how frequent would we have this session? 我我我我再来安排一下。Whenever <笑> we think about it，因为已经有人问这个问题，说师傅什么？ <笑> 是不是一个礼拜可以一次还是一个礼拜一次可能办不到了<笑><笑><笑> 我们可以就一些专题啊举个例子但这个我不知道有没有翻成英文了